We always have a good time with the Quincy Fire Department, but we're talking about a very serious topic, and that's residential house fires. We're giving you the top seven reasons for those residential house fires, and we're on number three. And if you're like me, you're guilty of this already this morning. This is Jerry Smith. He's a firefighter with the Quincy Fire Department. And you said number three is? Electrical distribution and lighting. There's over 47,000 fires per year because of electrical issues and over 400 deaths per year wow. because of, of the cause of these. What we really w would like to discourage people is if you see something like this right here. Um, with the use of power strip, you want to read the underwriter's uh, lab uh, label on the back to okay, see how much, of a, how much of a load this strip can take. Mm -hmm. We don't want to see any major appliances uh, plugged into this strip. If you do have one of these strips, we encourage you to have one with a breaker or a fuse in, in the strip itself. So if it does get overloaded, it will trip that. Okay, so I have a power strip at home that looks just like this next to my computer. I need to just make sure that it does have a trip mechanism so that if everything does get a little too hot, right. it automatically shuts off. Right. And the thing we do not want to see is what you have the last plug and the cord here. This is called daisy chaining. We're going into another outlet strip or another power strip. We want we don't want to see that. Uh, that's a major cause of overloading mm -hmm. and electrical fires. And if you see this plug here, you plug it into an outlet, it has three other plugs on it. We don't these are definitely dangerous. We don't want to see those. And this is the other thing we don't want to see right here is an extension cord plugged into the power strip and at that a faulty extension cord. Yikes. So we want to discourage everybody from uh, doing these types of things. This is what we don't want to see. Mm -hmm. And you want to read the label on the back to see what these strips can handle. Okay, and especially important going into the Christmas season where all of us will be uh, putting up Christmas lights and all sorts of electrical appliances. Now coming up on Cage Gray this morning, we're heading into the top two reasons for residential house fires. You're going to want to tune in life-saving advice this morning. And I'd like to know about the Christmas lights. They all mm -hmm. plug in end to end to end. How many is too much? This is just really good everyday survival or safety tips because I just remember my sister and I at home, mm -hmm. hair, hair dryer, curling iron, iPod, like just fill that strip. Ghetto box. Yeah.